Hello everyone, and welcome to Epic 7. Today, I would like to showcase my Banshee 11 one-shot team, which I finished very recently. First, I'll showcase the run itself on auto, just to show that it works. Then I'll show off each of the hero's stats, and while I'm doing that, I'll talk a little bit about uh, my decision-making behind the team itself. So let's get right into this. the evil for King Ivan I would give my life please save us correct your posture My willpower will help me overcome this. I'll destroy you! Alright, so that was the run. It seems to go pretty well. It's not the fastest run I've ever seen, but uh, it's pretty consistent. So let's get into the heroes themselves. So if I sort by CP at the top of the list here, we've got Charles. Now with Charles, I had one singular goal, and that goal was to one-shot that first wave of enemies during the Banshee fight. The two magical broomstick things and the Misty Chain. So with Charles... The way I do that is using his S3. As you can see here, I have his S3 enhanced at plus 5. Now the reason I have it enhanced all the way is because I just wasn't dealing enough damage to one-shot those enemies without the plus 5. So I just went ahead and got the additional damage. Let's take a look at his stats. 3.3k attack, 88% crit chance, 259% crit damage. With these stats, I have enough damage to one-shot that first wave of enemies. Now, obviously, I don't want to use Charles for the singular purpose of my Banshee 11 one-shot team, right? I want to use Charles outside of that context. So, while trying to achieve enough damage for Banshee 11, I also tried to achieve some stats so that he can just be usable in other areas. And so I've got 1k defense, 10.6k health, I wish this was higher, and 167 speed. I'd say in general, this Charles is decent he's usable let's take a look at right side gear so for the artifact i run portrait of saviors during the banshee 11 fight just to help minimize some rng because normally i have elbrus ritual sword here in this spot but i don't want elbrus proccing during the banshee 11 fight so i just use portrait of saviors instead for the exclusive equipment attack 14 percent that's really all that matters here um but if i had to recommend something i would recommend the first skill enhance which increases your chance of activating smash by 10 percent i think that's pretty good as for the necklace crit damage 65 percent Ring is attack 60%, Boots attack 65%. And I'll just show these stats there one more time. So with this Charles, he is able to once again one-shot that first wave of enemies, and that's all I need him to do. And he does it pretty well. All right, so next up on the list, we have Euphine. Now this is pretty self-explanatory. Euphine exists for the sole purpose of one-shotting things. And at least that's how I use her. Even outside of Banshee 11, I want her to one-shot things. So for that purpose, I have her S3 at plus 6. I needed all of that damage to guarantee the one-shot. As far as stats, 94.3k CP, attack at 3.8k, defense at 1.1k, 12k health, 116 speed, nice and slow to take advantage of my plus 30 Hellcutter, critical hit chance at 86%, and critical hit damage at 264%. With these stats, I have enough damage to one-shot the Banshee with a defense break. Now keep in mind, I am also running a four-piece rage set. For those of you who do not know what rage does, it increases damage by 30% when attacking debuffed targets. Now in this case, the Banshee Queen will always be debuffed, so I will always get this damage increase. For right side pieces, I've got crit damage, attack, attack, 
barely standard. And that's pretty much it with Yufine, right? She just one-shot stuff. Not really much to explain here. All right, so moving on after Yufine, we have your boy, Gunther. Now, this may be a bit of a surprise since, uh, at least in my opinion, Gunther kind of sucks just in general. But within this circumstance, he is honestly the most integral part of the team because he is responsible for getting the decreased defense. Without the decreased defense, nothing is possible. And so everything lies on Gunther's shoulders. So let's take a look at the stats. No skill enhancements, it's just not necessary. His S3 has 100% chance to decrease defense, assuming you overcome effect resistance, of course. But there's no percent chance here, it's just guaranteed. Taking a look at stats, 56.9 KCP, 36, well, 3.6K attack. Uh, I mean, honestly, none of this stuff matters. 10.3k health, 147 speed. 101 effectiveness. So, the Banshee 11 boss, the Banshee Queen, or whatever the heck it is, has 70% effect resistance, so you need to overcome that. Now, this is actually a little bit overkill, 101%, but... Hey, whatever. On right side, I've got Cursed Compass at plus 9, because... I have no reason to uh, enhance it all the way, but this gives me 32.5% uh, increased effectiveness for one turn at the start of the battle. So he'll have even more effectiveness on his first turn. And then I have attack, effectiveness, attack on right side. So basically, my goal here was just to give Gunther enough effectiveness to overcome the Banshee Queen's uh, effect resistance so that he can get the defense down and then I also wanted to give him enough health to make sure he can live a hit 10.3k is more than enough and that's pretty much it and last but not least we have Dien the final member of my Banshee 11 one-shot team so her singular purpose is to give everyone an attack buff using her s3 now because of this her stats don't actually matter for this specific set of circumstances other than her speed so she needs to be fast enough to go first so that everyone gets their attack buff before they attack so i have her at 194 speed you'll see that um i have a ring that's not even upgraded i have a lower level weapon and that's because this build isn't complete there are some placeholder pieces here all i really needed to do was finish the speed set so I just put this ring here. Uh, the artifact doesn't really matter in this case because she doesn't really do any healing, but I've got Rod of Amaryllis on her. And that's about it with the end. Just get the attack buff off and I'm good to go. So that was my Banshee 11 one-shot team. Maybe some of you out there who are interested in doing this kind of thing got some ideas that you can apply to your own teams. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below and I'll try to answer those. Maybe if you have questions about you know, alternate heroes you could use because you don't have, you know, certain heroes or whatnot. So yeah, so long until next time.